Hello, uh, I'm going to take a look at the song When You Dance I Can Really Love by Neil Young. Uh, I just joined a band that's playing straight through a classic album every month, so since I'm kind of learning a ton of songs, uh, I plug around on the internet looking for tips here and there from other guitarists. Um, and I saw quite a few videos that weren't quite right on this, uh, and I'm not saying that everything in this video is right, but I just wanted to take a look at what I kind of figured out and uh, hopefully add something to what's already out there. So the first thing about this song is the tuning. Uh, some people seem to think it's only in drop D uh, and then they kind of play this D suspended chord but that's not really what's going on. So the tuning is D, A, D, G, B, D. Uh, so basically it's standard tuning with both the top and bottom strings dropped a whole step to D. Uh, and what that allows us to do uh, with the lead parts in this is to kind of let this uh, high D string ring out and kind of get some jangliness to it. So. so let's take a look at the intro. Okay, so a few things going on here. Uh, to start off, we kind of keep everything open except for 7th <clears throat> fret on the 3rd string and 8th fret on the 2nd string, keeping that top string open. Alright, and then you're going to slide your pinky on the 8th fret back to the 7th fret. And then you're going to drop in behind it your uh, first finger on the 5th fret. And then slide down to the 3rd fret. Alright, and with the stuff open. Okay. Uh, and then the next part is just a basic C chord. And then you're just going to pluck through the bottom uh, 3 notes. So that's 3rd fret of the 5th string, 2nd fret of the 4th string, and open 3rd string. And then you're going to go to the 5th fret for the G chord, uh, which is no longer the 3rd because we're in drop D. And 5th fret, and then open 4th string, open 3rd string. Okay? And then this other little lead thing here is all on the second uh, string, and you're going open, third, fifth, and then a full bend on the fifth, and then open, and then third. Put a little vibrato on there. Alright, and then you go back to do the same thing with the C and the G. And then, the last time through, uh, I'm going to do the 7th uh, fret on the 3rd string, 8th fret on the 2nd, and this time I'm going to go up to the 10th fret on the 2nd. And then slide back to the 7th fret on both strings. And then down to the 3. You don't necessarily have to do that, you could kind of let it ring open. And then same thing with the C and the G. And then the last two chords are a G chord or a G5 chord up to a B flat. Uh, and what this looks like is it's fifth fret on the sixth string, fifth fret on the fifth string, and then open fourth, open third, and then third fret on the second, and then everything else open. And then you're going to slide that same shape up to the 8th fret on the 5th, 8th uh, fret on the 6th, 8th fret on the 6th, 5th, uh, and then open 4th, and then he actually throws the 3rd in here. So 7th fret on the 3rd string, 
and uh, sixth fret on the second string. Everything else is open. So you're going from. So you keep everything open here and then drop your middle finger down onto that seventh fret of the third string. Okay, so the intro one more time. That's that. And then when we get into the verse, we're starting with a uh, D minor seventh chord, and it's going to sound. I'll just play through the verse real quick. When you dance, do So for that section, you're doing this uh, D minor 7, which is 5th fret of the 3rd string and 6th fret of the 2nd string. Everything else is open. Alright, you can play that any way you want. I, I like to use these two fingers, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so you're doing... When you dance. And then we're going to that B flat chord uh, we did already which is the 8th uh, fret, 8th fret, open, 7th uh, fret, 6th fret, open. And then we can move that shape up 2 frets to get to our C, so if nothing changes, just move it up. Hold the same shape, but drop the uh, middle finger out to leave everything open. Go all the way down to the third fret, third fret, open, open, first fret. Same shape, and that's our F chord or F2 or something like that. And then uh, slide it up two frets to the G. So with the third in the middle, and then open. And then you do the same thing from uh, the intro where you go from the G up to the B flat. So, uh, when you dance, do your senses tingle, then take a chance in a trance while the lonely mingle with circumstance. So those are the basic chords there. Um, then we kind of go into the chorus section, which uh, I'm playing this. I'm not sure if this is exactly what they're doing, but it's just a D chord. Um, in this case, a D5. I'm just playing the second fret on the third string and the third fret on the second string and keeping everything open. Um, so we go from that to a C up to that same B flat from before. And then the new chord is A minor seven, which is just the regular open shape from standard tuning. That's just uh, open uh, A string, second fret of the fourth string, open third string, first fret of the second, and then open D on top. All right. Okay, so it's I've got something to tell you, maybe show. Let me come over, I know you know. When you dance, ooh, I can really know. So that's kind of the same chord shapes from the uh, verse section. Uh, so we're going from that D minor 7 to the B flat to the C, to the F, to the G. So that whole little chorus section one more time. I've got something to tell you, you need to show. Let me go I know you know Ooh, I All right, and that's basically the whole song, and it goes right back into the intro and then the only other section of the song to really talk about is the outro 
uh, which is a lot simpler. So it's basically just a F power chord, which is third fret, you can bar it, and then open power chord, or you can add the D in, and back up to the F, and then up to the fifth fret for the G. So it sounds like. I kind of play it um, keeping this uh, D shape here, so like... I'll kind of use the same two chord shapes from the verses. fades out, uh, you can just end it on a D, and that's how you play uh, when you dance. Thanks.